In this video, I will show you that how you can fix this authorization failed for a bow host error in IPTV. So the very first step is you just need to verify that you are putting the right credentials. So just ensure that your username, password and server URL are entered correctly. Check for typos or extra spaces, especially between characters. So just make sure that uh, you are putting the right information right over here. And in the next step, you need to adjust the server URL. Remove any trailing slashes from the server URL. For example, change this to this. You can see that over here we have the slash. So you need to remove it to check if it uh, works or not. And now you need to replace double forward slashes with a single forward slash. For example, uh, this is the URL. And here you can see that we have double slash. So you need to remove this one uh, with single slash. So just make sure that uh, if uh, works or not, and if it does not work, then you need to move on to step number three, which is you need to test on other devices. So just try accessing the IPTV service on a different device, such as a smartphone or tablet. If it works on other devices, uh, but not on your Samsung Smart TV, the issue may be specific to the TV or the app installed on it. Now, if this does not work, then you need to move on to step number four, which is contact your IPTV provider. Reach out to your IPTV service provider to confirm that your subscription is active and that you are using the correct server, URL and credential. Request any specific settings or the URLs required for Samsung Smart TV. And if this still does not work, then you need to move on to step number five. And over here, you need to ensure the HTTP protocol. Verify that uh, the server URL begins with uh, this instead of this. You can see that uh, over here, you can see that we have HTTP, uh, you just need to make sure that you are using HTTP instead of HTTPS because as some IPTV apps may not support secure HTTPS connections. So HTTPS is basically a secure connection, but some of the IPTVs uh, don't actually support this. So you need to make sure that you replace this S with, um, uh, you need to remove this S from the URL. If necessary, add a port number to the URL such as uh, HTTP and example.com and at the end you put the port number of 80. So just check it out. Now we need to move on to step number six. So if any of the step from the previous five are not working, you need to change the DNS settings. Uh, navigate to your TV's and network settings and change the DNS server to a public DNS. For example, use Google's DNS, which is this one and this one. So you can change uh, this Google DNS. Uh, this can help resolve connectivity issues related to DNS uh, resolution. So now our final step is you need to uh, uninstall and then reinstall the app. So uninstall the IPTV Smarter Pro app from your Samsung Smart TV and restart your TV to clear any residential uh, caches. So after that, you need to reinstall the latest version of the app from the official app store. And I hope that if you try uh, all of these seven steps, uh, your this uh, issue will be resolved, and uh, this will fix this issue. I hope this video was helpful, and if it is, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.